Okay, so uh, I've taken uh, quite a bit apart again, actually, because I think when I originally put the base on, uh, I didn't have the, the upper two sections on it. So um, it's been ages. It's over a year since I had this assembled. So it's just, uh, just trying to remember how it all goes to back together again. But what I've done is I'll just move the camera forward a little bit. Is I've put this section that bit in and I'm going to bring up the base and uh, once I get a couple of bolts in uh, bring the lower section to, to lock together and then I can turn it back over again I had it upside down at one point but uh, it's just it just wasn't working so uh, get one bit assembled at a time get a couple of bolts in uh, and lock the lower section on and then I'm going to turn it over and then put the the feet back on again or the center foot I've taken the whole center foot off again OK, as you can see, I'm now uh, screwed uh, with the with the bolts through the, the base and I can now put that back on again uh, and then I can flip it back over again. And I'm back to where I was before I painted it, uh, which is a year ago. So we're sort of moving forward. OK, uh, I've screwed that on. So that's it all upside down, as you can see. But this first time I've had all this on painted. So uh, I think that's uh, let's pat up a little bit. Looking quite cool. So I'm going to flip it over again. I've got it in this um, bin. Just straighten out my camera. I've got it in this bin so the, the, the centre section can sit in, otherwise it's just going to fall over. Uh, then I can get the legs on. And then I'm going to have to lift the whole thing out again and put it on the floor. Um, but it's really heavy at that point. Um, there's... Um, a lot of kilos of plastic in there, um, but uh, definitely moving. So I'm going to flip it over, put the legs on. Once it's on the floor, uh, then I'm going to complete the wiring, which is well, most of the wiring's done actually. As I say, I've just got to do the the backboard again, which I ripped apart because I wasn't happy with it. Um, so it's just the, the sort of the control board's got to be redone. The doors, as you've seen in previous videos, are more or less done. I've just got a little bit, a little bit of tweaking. Um, then everything can get glued on all the other once I've got uh, it, you know, in, in, the, in the, the right way up with the legs on. I'm going to glue all the little sections on, which most of them are on anyway. Um, I've still got to repaint the, the dome a little bit, but uh, wait for good weather to do that. Uh, and I think then, um, as I say, electronics. So construction is basically done. We'll be soon. Just putting the uh, legs back on. It's been, it's been so long since I have uh, assembled them. Um, a question I think came up ages ago, well, there's always been a, a long question, is, is the angle of these pieces uh, that go on. Um, and I think I've got the angle right. Um, because you can have the legs upright or you can have them at, at a you know back angle. And I'm putting on on the back angle. So if you look, uh, this is the, the left leg. And again, I think, I think there's always confusion. Is that the, the robot's left leg or looking at uh, the unit as its left leg? I'm assuming it's the left leg, the robot's left leg. Um, so um, that is the angle it's going to go on. I've still got to get the cabling into this thing. So I'm just, I'm just putting them uh, on at the moment and then um, worry about cabling. But uh, so if you look at it like that, that hole in the middle will line up with the will line up clearly with the the hole on the side so uh, i'll show you Just swing it around so this uh this hole here is going to line up with that hole there so that's going to go in like that but what I've got to do before I put that on is just uh, ream these holes out a bit since uh, they have been uh, painted so I need to get a bolt just open them all up
jam completely. I'm only clear these are going to get used, but I might as well clean them all out. Because you can have, uh, as you know, the, the uh, uh, R2 sit up right, but I think uh, that would just be, it would just fall over. So <laughs> totally, that's a good idea for me. Okay, let's try that again. I've also mislaid uh, the, I've got a couple of washers, you know, these, there's these washer sections that sit in, those things, uh, so I've only got two, I've got enough bolts, so they may turn up or I'll, I'll just reprint a couple. So let's try that again. Some nuts on that just for the time being so they don't fall off. Okay, so that is that map. Let's just bring the camera back so you can see. Just uh, bear with me a second. So that is, I think I've got that the right, <laughs> the right way around. So his head leans backwards. Which I think is the way R2 sits, hopefully. Um, and uh, yeah, that's correct. Yeah, it's been it's been a while since I've put this uh, R2 together, so it's just remembering how it all goes together. So legs are on. Um, I've got to print a couple of washers. Uh, I can put the um, the feet on and take the whole thing out of the plastic bin and it can actually sit on the floor uh, or I might just leave it in the bin at the moment because it's quite a good way to move it around we'll see um, and then um, I can fit all the little bits and pieces <laughs> 